Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Heroes of a Broken Land 2, the dungeon crawler that has gotten a lot of updates. Yes, it is not yet uh, fully complete, but it is playable, it is enjoyable. You have dungeons, you have monsters, you have cities, you have classes, you have everything you can dream of. You get experience for disarming traps. There are a lot of new monsters, a lot of new items, a lot of new skills. Everything is there to enjoy the game and what a joy it is. I've looked in YouTube, there is no recordings of this game how could this be this is great take it play it you get it on stream very very easy very very cheap and it is an absolute blast and it is getter so to better getting better so to speak by the minute and no i'm not affiliated with the people who make it i don't even know them but this is great first of all we make a new game we take world size enormous and difficulty give me hell because i like it that way um play like you live <laughs> Life is pretty much impossible. So, um, with that being said, uh, character selection. There are things you have to know about character selection. Because you can only choose four of these guys. And while you see the hit points and the energy points absolutely immediately, important are the stats because they determine what your guy can learn. Generally speaking, most jobs and jobs is a job like fighter, mage, jeweler, priest, whatever, thief. There are a lot of jobs. Holy hell, there is a million of them. Well, not a million, but a whole bunch. <laughs> really, really, everything you can dream of is there. A bard, hunter, a thug, assassin, you name it, it's there. So with that being said, this is very good stats. Two is very, very low. 20 is very, very high. People can have special things that they get a bonus so that they can get even up to 26 or 25, something like that. But that is where. So when you look through your heroes, make sure that they have good starting stats. Otherwise, you cannot learn um, your jobs. Every job has a prerequisite. For example, if you become, want to become a soldier, it needs 10, 10, a strength, endurance, 10, I think agility, 6, and speed, 8, something like that. This guy is dumb as a rock, but we don't care, because for the jobs I want, you don't need a lot of intelligence. That speaks for itself. Speed is very important in my eyes, because it determines when it's your turn to hit the people in the head. And hitting people in the head is important. So, oh boy, you're great, lady, but your speed is awful. You are okay. I want at least 40 hit points. More, of course, would be better, but we take what we can get. This guy's dump and he's slow, but he's got a lot of energy and he's got a lot of hit points, so he would be a choice. She is weak and slow. That's a shame, because in every other aspect, she's pretty great. Um... He is okay-ish, not happy totally with him, but it will get the job done, theoretically. The speed is a little bit low. His speed is a little bit better, which I like. Um, she has two hit points less than she should have, but her speed is very, very good. Her speed is very, very bad. So normally my prerequisite is I don't take anyone who has less than 40 hit points. But all things considered, she has good stats. I mean, look at this. This is something you can build with. So we're fine. Next thing you do is this is the overland map. It's turn based. So don't hurry yourself. If you're an old man like me, this is perfect because there's nothing going wrong as long as you're not doing anything. First things first, we look in our city. So in our city, we have this beautiful screen, which tells us um, which people we can recruit. Please keep the following thing in mind. You can have more than one party. And in the end, you will have more than one party because sometimes more than one person have, has to storm uh, the dungeon. You have to send in two or three or four parties into a dungeon to pull all the levers and get everything uh, up and going. And that's not easy. So this guy is good overall except for his strength. However, with the first level up, we could correct that. She is pretty awesome. Her willpower is a problem, but that is also something we can work with. So this too we take. Oh boy, we bit didn't build anything and we're already a thousand golds down. So what do we build? What I like to build, kill me for it, is a market. Why? Because a market gives 100 gold each turn. And then I want to build the water well. 
You could argue that it is more clever to build a lumber mill first and we will do that in this special occasion because it makes all the buildings cheaper and you're saving some money. So second thing we do is we'll build ourselves a fort and when we've built the fort the next thing we build is the barracks. Why the barracks? Because you get soldiers. Why soldiers? Because soldiers can use shields and shields are, you guessed it, great. Let's get these two guys or ladies or whatever into our army and we cannot drain them because they don't have the strength. Okay, but, but we can we can work on that, right? We can make that go. Nice. So technically we could go into our first dungeon, however, practically that is not what we will do. Because before we go anywhere, we'll try to get as much stuff from the surface as we can. This is a broken gate. You can fix that gate and get to other p other places um, if we clear that dungeon out. So let's keep that in mind, because that is the gate. This is a level 5 dungeon and it's sealed. Good for us, because if we try to go there, we'll probably die. Now, you're wondering, Boris, you have taken a soldier. Why? Because this gives you the ability, the ability to attack people in the rear that you can normally not reach. And the second one gives you the ability to use shields, which is absolutely fantastic. And you get some kind of AoE attack later on. And you get uh, bonuses to your defenses and the ability to counter strike, which I totally love. So soldier in my eyes, very, very, very great. Now, as you can see, now it's not done yet enough. We have to wait one more turn. Just looking around a little bit. Level 5 dungeon. That is super dangerous. Ooh, there were monsters immediately. Did you see them? Sometimes you can sneak into a dungeon, just crap some stuff, and then run the hell out of it. That's basically the idea. Um, oh, we're missing 5 gold. Oh, damn it. Okay. So, but now we have the coin. We increase that. And the next thing we'll build is the, um, well, to get more heroes. Maybe better ones. Looking, maybe we get something special. Not at this point. But you can see that we have um, a constant influx of items. This is level 3. We look a little bit around, but this we're playing in the highest difficulty, so we better be careful. Uh, Rangers camp. They he need help. And they give us a mini quest, which is okay. We'll look into that later. Ooh, 720. Which is good. Can we have the well? We could build the windmill now to get 100 gold extra each turn, which is not bad. Um, we can build four upgrades. We want um, the bazaar, one. And then we take the windmill, uh, the, the farm and not the windmill. So we have to build the water well anyway. Look at that, they're new heroes. Uh, she's an air mage already. She has terrible stats. Stats are okay, but no, no, nothing. No one with us. No one with us to this point. But that's how it is sometimes. We're okay. Ooh, it says deaths, but oh crap. Let's get out. Yeah, we could, could have we could have tried to get the coin. Level three dungeon. Woo! Look at that! All the loot and no fighting. Isn't that beautiful? That's how we like it. Like robbing everything. And the graphics, as you can see, are not that bad. There could be something behind that, and we're just level one, so we're not. We're not getting uh, crazy. Which level is that? Level 5. 
Holy hell. We're out of this. Okay. No problem. Technically speaking. Is this level one? Oh, there is a chest. Get the chest first. Because there is always the possibility that there is something in the chest that you can use. Um, we have a thousand gold. We could go for the temple. Or the mage tower for energy regeneration. Or the inn for more traveling. Or the monastery for better healing. All these buildings have their pro and cons. But first of all, we need shields. Because without shields, this entire build is not working. Well, in the beginning, we don't need the shields. Because in the beginning, we're not using the shields. But you kind of get the point. Yay, a wooden hammer. Not that we're into wooden hammers, but okay. We have a thousand gold. The question is, is there anything we can do with that thousand gold thing? Are there new heroes? You are a soldier, which is beautiful because that is exactly what we need. And your stats are pretty good, except for the fact that you're terrible in terms of intelligence. Um, but I'll take you. Which means you will go back home and you are a martial artist. Why did I buy you? I don't like martial artists. Just to show you what a martial artist can do. Um, unarmed combat. Not what we want. Don't tell me you have such a job as well. No, you don't. You don't, uh, you don't have the strength to learn anything. But you're a soldier, you're a soldier, you're a soldier. You are nothing. But that's fine with me. That's totally fine with me. I could go for the Armorsmith, or I could go for the Mage Tower. This is hard to tell. Upgrading the market is not in it, because we need 4,800 gold, and we're far away from that. So not an option. Although it would be an option, because technically speaking, what you could do is buy a bazaar, and hope that some really awesome items show up. That's technically possible. Just so you, you know. Um, remember that not all buildings that you build are technically um, training centers for different classes. Because most of them are for training classes. Most of them. Not all of them. Most of them. Um, some buildings are just for um, faster traveling for your troops or for your parties. Or for faster regeneration and stuff like that. There are some, some things left and right. Um, Alchemist is normally a good pick because you need a lot of healing potions and that's where you get them. However, you can also buy them at the bazaar. So, hmm, you know, kind of, kind of in a pickle here. And wasting gold for healing is normally not the best choice. However, when you're playing the highest possible difficulty level, that is normally what, uh, what you need. So, before we do anything, let's look at the at the equipment. And now comes the fact, uh, the, the fun part. You can look which items are more effective than one you're, what you're wearing. And you can, for example, see that the Alabaster Greatsword is far more impressive than what we are using. The only problem is that, technically speaking, um, it is not better because it's a two-handed weapon. Wooden spear. Okay, everything else is worse. You can sell that stuff, by the way. If you have, you guessed it, a marketplace that we don't have at the moment. Well, we have a marketplace, but not a market where we can sell stuff. Not yet. So, so we could leap. That is the special attack here. You see this little goblin. We don't know anything about him. That's the reason it says unknown. We didn't kill enough of them. But our speed is higher than his, so we can act before him. We give the orders for what to do. And as you can see, we're kind of... Squashing him. And we get 24 experience! Hooray! Seems like the rest of this room is more or less empty. Always look to the bottom and to the uh, um, ceiling if there's any spikes. Because that's trapped for one. They do damage for a second. Uh, you can get experience out of that. Now this is a little bit tricky. So you can 
can look to the side, but there is everything. I love that you can do that. You can basically lean a little bit around just to make sure. And when you go um, through corners, always turn sideways so that you're not getting flanked. Because if you're getting flanked or ambushed, your speed is basically out of the window. And they will just, you know, murder you. <laughs> well, not necessarily. If you're strong enough, you can still defeat them. But you know what I mean. They get a, they get a jump on you and you don't get the jump on them. So, for example, we could go in here forward. But it would make more sense for us to turn to the side and move. Because if there were someone, we could have now surprised him. So there must be a ladder somewhere to open this. Again, we're looking on the on the ceiling if there is anything, but there is nothing. And we turn sideways. Always watch your side, uh, your, your direction. Because if you get a flank on the monsters, you get a speed bonus. If you get an ambush on the monsters, you get a speed bonus. And that's always great to have. See? Like this. We don't go directly. We go... Oh. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. But at least we, we flanked them. So we get a bonus on speed. They will get a hit on us, of course they will, because we can't take out three in one go, even with our weapons. They are not that bad, because we run around and we found, as you've seen, some cool stuff. So if I can give it... Oh, he does light damage as well. Very beautiful. Um, as you have seen, it always pays off to run around or in the beginning and just collect some stuff. Yes, there is the danger that there is an event and everything goes haywire in a second, but I feel it's worth the risk. My personal opinion. As always in my videos, because that's the reason it's my videos and not your videos. You can see a trap! And we get 18 XP! I thought we get 25. Must be a weaker trap. Ooh, one little gobo! And he did turn around that bastard. That means we didn't flank him. May he be damned! But fine by me. By the way, I, I, lo I love the graphics of the game. I like them really. I find them pleasing. Okay, nothing here. Just move. Oh, by the way, mapping function. Beautiful. So just that you know. Anything on the ceiling? No. There is a wall to the left. There is a wall to the right. And perfect. And a little guy looking for trouble. And we flanked him. How beautiful is that? And you can see by the shadow that there might be someone else lurking there. See that? See that? There is someone moving. <laughs> yeah, so much for graphics, you know? Some games have beautiful graphics, but you cannot use them. Here, you have graphics and shadow effects that really do something. If you are aware, and that is what I like. That is what I think a game should really um, work on. There is a complaint that I'm not using mages. That has nothing to do with the game. Um, mages are good here, no question. Spells are powerful, yes, but but I'm I'm not I'm not a huge huge fan of mages because you spend your energy relatively fast in my eyes, and you have to build your characters and your towns and your income accordingly, and um yeah, not doing that. Oh, only gold. I was oh by the way when you open these gates and there are monsters behind them they will start roaming around the countryside so be aware something be aware something that you have just cleared might not be sorry there had to sneeze um so the monsters that were behind that no they were not behind that bar okay they must have been behind another bar um Oh, okay. Okay, I know where. Aha! Saw the trap. Don't fall for it. Oh, yeah. We ambushed them. And we, if we're really good, we can ambush these other guys right in front of us as well, which would be beautiful. Aha! Beautiful. Just slaughter them. 
I have no idea why they hate the lady so much. Now that's a lot of goblins, holy hell. There are a lot of different monsters, as you have seen. Um, there are fairies, spiders, ghosts, slugs, whatever you call it. They've got tons of stuff. But, fun fact, uh, goblins are the easiest. They have only one special attack, and that is stab. For those of you who want to play the um, character class that can steal abilities of enemies, it's called research, but it's not really research. It's just uh, taking their stuff, their abilities. And you can only take them and use them, and you're not learning them. So just if you think that's how it works, it is not. And uh, that's fair, because that would be totally all about Killing or stealing another man's ability is already quite powerful. Ooh, do you see that? That is a more powerful chest. A bonehead. This might be useful. Yay! Now, you could argue it's already time to use um, a healing potion on the lady, but I don't think so. Achala would do good. You can change the names. Okay. And I really, really like the graphics because... Oh, shit. Well, at least we flanked them because we moved back, they moved after us, they, we, they didn't turn in time and we turned on them and everything will be beautiful. Trust me. Yes. Yeah, we're not making tons of money. I know that. But that is fine. Again, don't pull every lever immediately because what could happen is that you free a bunch of monsters. They do not really like you uh, right from the start. So that, that could, could end badly. We'll do it in this case because this is a level 1 dungeon, but clever... It is not. Oh, that's a lot of traps. But that's good because that's experience. Okay, little guy, my speed is probably higher than yours, right? Screw you. By the way, if you're wondering what stats are for, stats are not only for learning Jobs, stats are also for equipping items. Some items need higher stats to use. On the other hand, some classes make it easier for you or lower the requirements to um, equip items. So if you have got an item and you say, oh, I will never, ever, 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 ever be able to use that item, do not be alarmed. There, there might be still a chance for you to use the item if you've got the right character class that gets um, bonuses on equipping these items, you could still be glorious. Haha, <laughs> they fall for the old trick they do. And I see a golden chest, see you. And golden chest, golden chest is the second best thing there is. There is only one thing better than the golden chest, and that is the golden sparkling chest. Yeah, the rare, but they're in, in every dungeon, or almost every dungeon as far as I know, there is one of these beauties, and we love them. And we flank them. Be aware that you cannot get out of combat. So if you get into combat, it's there, there is no running away. Technically. Golden chest. Yes! Uh, okay, maybe I'll have a look. You. Pointy, sharp wooden hammer. You can see requirements, strength 4, agility 2. That is beautiful. The copper study earrings give you more defense, more evade, more energy. That is okay, although it would be more sufficient on your, someone else. But you know details. And you can click through everyone relatively easy. 
You're telling me this is better? Yeah, but this does 10% light damage. So in fact, it is better because this is damage 18. This is so it is better still. And sometimes you need that extra light damage. Trust me. Because there are enemies from time to time that are immune to physical attacks or void attacks or whatever attacks and then you need that. Yeah, never never fall for that trick. Always look at the ceiling. Bad things are waiting for you. Woohoo! Beautiful! Oh, that's a that's a beautiful spear. I love it. Uh you have a good weapon? I give you the spear. Yeah, oh wait, someone here was, was green? Yeah, that is because they don't count the alabaster thing in. Okay, who cares? Yeah, I move careful because again, we opened some gates and sometimes trouble comes out of them. And we're playing in the highest possible difficulty, so we're better prepared. You know? Let's look on the map. Where was this opening? It was here. Okay. We can do it. Let's just make the map complete. Yeah, you're not fooling me, are you? Ooh, that looks like a backstab. But be careful, because there could be some, some real evil fellows right beside us. And that would be... Oh, look at the damage. Oh, look at the damage! We're murdering people left, right, and center. But they're level... Oh, yes! We've got a level up! And we learn Shield Expert! Because I love Shield Expert. And we get some bonus points. I want more speed. And I want more endurance, actually. Nice. You need more strength, so I'm very kind of strong. You need more speed and more of that and this. Uh, your speed and your strength. No, actually, endurance. Oh, your speed is terrible, sir. Oh, you're pretty good. Haha! <laughs> oh, crap. Look at that. There is... Uh, it could be maximum of four. There is a way to use the fact that you have six and they have four... Um, people maximum and that is you might not like it but you could take wrestlers which is a character class but it's very demanding both in skill or in attributes and in coin because these guys don't come cheap um, neither in acquiring the building for them not in non in, nor in training them but what you could technically do is get yourself wrestlers and four of your guys wrestle the enemy to the ground and then the others stab them because wrestling um, pins them down. Now, technically speaking, if your wrestlers are high enough. Oh, it's 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 done. The dungeon's done. I didn't see the main boss. Maybe there was none. Who knows? Um, oh, there is the glimmering, sparkling super chest, which we like. And that is... That did go well. Okay, as I mentioned, there is the theory or that you can um, use that to your advantage. And that is simply pinning the enemy down with restless and then stabbing them to death. And if your restless are high enough in level, theoretically, they can even kill the enemy just by, you know, pinning them down. Because they do overtime damage a little bit. But that is very little in damage. And... Yeah, most, most monsters will not care about that. By the way, you can always leave the dungeon you have cleared by just clicking on the X. And ta-da! You're out. 
And you found one of the fragments. And we can go back to town and train the rest of our people in, you guessed it, soldiery. Because we like soldiery. And we have new coin, not yet enough to buy anything. But what we could technically buy is we go get ourselves an armory. And then buy a wooden shield. And we could sell. Uh, before we sell anything, let's do something. So everyone is trained. Beautiful. Um, equipment. You get the prances, you get the venomous sword, you get the braces. This is a great sword. That's a problem because that means he cannot use a shield. But at the moment we'll keep it because technically speaking, um, it does a lot of damage. But what we can do now is we can sell to go to our shop and uh, sell the weapons that we don't no longer need. Now you say it's not a lot of coin, but it is some coin. I mean, hey. And we can upgrade the wall, uh, the, uh, the, um, all cheaper to produce. Crystal Forge. This is not bad. We'll provide enhanced defense. I don't think you, you get that at the beginning, but you see now we have a blessed wooden hammer. I oh, know that's what we just sell, sold. But we, for example, can get a blessed leather helmet, which is nice. And we can buy some shields. Yeah. So get yourself that. Ah, oh, crap. You're, you're the one with the sword, of course. And a helmet. Shield. Ah, oh, cop. Shield. Shield. Yeah, he has a block chance of six. <laughs> oh my god, we need better shields. But that's it for the moment. I hope you liked it. And I hope I see you next time because this game is gorgeous. Please, please play it. It's absolutely fantastic. And I would like to have a community where we can talk about the game and exchange our our um, things that we find and participate and, I don't know, take you into to a live stream or whatever. I want to enjoy this game. Bye.